Welcome back, y'all. Today we are playing. No, I'm not human. I'm a wicked. One of them. Basically, this game is about playing as a human in the middle of a sun exploding apocalypse, trying to survive while imposters, so to seem, come at your door and we have to find out if they're human or not to let them in our home. Okay, um, it's a scary game. It's a little creepy. I watched a little bit of it. Um, I want to see the full goddamn thing, so we're gonna fucking do it ourselves. Hope you guys enjoy this fucking game right into this shit, man. This shit's gonna be fucking terrifying. I hope you guys are fucking ready for this. Someone's already knocking at my goddamn door. I must open it. All right, um, I guess I'll try to get into character on some of these niggas, I guess. People from the cities have already started coming to the neighbors. People have changed a lot. If we come to your place, you let them in. Just, uh, be careful, okay? I've heard of people getting killed by other people. Now I hear these stories more and more often. An acquaintance said that the creature looks like humans are coming. In a few days, they would tell me what signs they could be used to distinguish from them from humans. You can't stay alone. Something very evil will come and who knows what's next. Oh god, what the fuck? What's going on out there, bro? <laughs> like, I don't know, my character hasn't been outside, I guess. It's safe to look out the windows at night. I even recommend it. That way you at least realize what's around your house. It's hard to look out during the day. It gets very hot. The light hurts my eyes. God damn it, dude. Um... Shit, uh, wait, what, what do we do, wait, uh, is it better not to leave the house? Let's summarize, god damn it, you fucking idiot. Uh, there's gonna be people coming at night. You decide who you let in, who not. It's hard to decide visually. We'll be told later by the authorities what the fuck can do. Look in the windows, you don't know what's going on. And keep your head down, it's dangerous everywhere now. I'll sleep in your cab tonight, and tomorrow you can do it yourself. Come and see me in the afternoon and we'll talk. Who told you you could come in my goddamn house, buddy? What the fuck? I'm just opening my doors to anybody, it goddamn seems. Alright, I guess this is, um, I, I already see it a little bit, so I know this is my bed. Um, I guess these are my rooms, so to say. Um, I'm taking my ass to bed. Can I look out the windows? No. No, I cannot. Alright. Got the bed. Take my ass to fucking sleep, alright? Good morning, dear viewers. It's the morning weather forecast. <laughs> I don't know if I should give a, a normal accent for this. The sun keeps shining and the su summer heat persists in our town. The duration of this heat has already broken the Guinness record and it seems that the good weather isn't going anywhere. Scientists are closely monitoring solar activity and predict the intensification, but they can all they assure us that there's all, no need to worry. So grab your sunglasses, take your best swimsuits, and don't forget your hats. And most importantly, make sure you don't get sunstroke. Lately, there's been a weird behavior in the town, and experts think it's because of too much sun. Bitch, too much sun? That's crack cocaine. Like, we're not lying to nobody here. Wait, did I use energy? I didn't want to read the news. No, wait, no. Fuck, I didn't want to do that. I think I just wasted the energy bar, goddammit. So we got these little rooms and shit. What the hell is that bag on my goddamn shelf? That shit looks disgusting. Alright, that's, that's the kitchen. That's the kitchen! Oh! You ugly piece of shit! Why are you just sleeping in my room, dude? Did you see the newscast? It's a nightmare. Okay, in this heat, every dialogue is gonna waste your energy. So think hard about what you want to talk to. And one more thing, checking people for the signs of guests should be in the dialogue too. So be careful how you spend your energies. If you decide you've talked to everyone and you don't want to sleep, have a beer. Go to the kitchen and have a cold one from the fridge. You'll use up all your energy and you'll want to go to sleep right away. Um, so I'm just supposed to sit around and survive? During the day, you could talk to your house guests about your sort of things. In dialogue with them, you could check for signs of fake people. Next, you decide what to do with those who are not human in your opinion. If you don't want to communicate with anybody else, you still have the strength to drink beer in the kitchen. There's one in the fridge I brought you can chill. It will make you so sleepy. And wait for help. If they call it for evacuation, stay close to my family. Now have a beer and get some rest. You look tired. By the way, I've heard all 
I've heard that at night someone walks around asking if you're home alone. If you open the door, do not say you're alone. What the fuck? Is that Diddy? What freaky ass dude is doing all that? Asking me if I'm home alone, what do I look like to you, buddy? Alright, so I guess we just gotta take the... Take the beer. I'm feeling a little drowsy from the beer. It's best to go to sleep. Alright, for sure. Makes sense, makes sense. I get it. What freaky ass dude is asking people where I sleep at, dude? We're just gonna let that slide by? Oh man, imagine if this shit was happening at your house. What the fuck would you be doing? In the distance of the neighbor's house, the neighbor is visiting you now. The lights are on in the window and the family seems to be waiting for him to leave you back home from dinner. Okay, for sure. So his family's waiting on him. They're like, yo, get the fuck back. Fuck that dude. I hope he dies. That's what they're saying about me, but I'm going to live. Fuck, fuck, fuck them niggas. We see several teenagers spending time in the field outside the window. They're sitting around chatting excitedly, not paying attention to you. Well, I, I hope they're fucking having fun. Bitch, just gonna be the last of their goddamn days. You know what I mean? You don't want to hurt the children's head. Just let them enjoy their day, I, I guess, right? It's dead quiet outside. Nobody's there. Even alcoholics, for some reason, decide not to show up on the street. Are they afraid of someone? Who are they afraid of, goddammit? The Diddy monster. What if Diddy comes out and tries to kill everybody? Oh, shit. Is my dad here? Can you call him? It wasn't scary during the day, but now it is. A lot of people went out at night. Is this a girl or a guy? I gave him <laughs> I gave him a guy voice. Um What's your father's name? Did you forget his name? Oh, you're checking to see if I'm a visitor. You're smart. Also checking people out too. Um, are you afraid of visitors? I don't know. Everyone's scared of them. I'm scared of them too. I haven't seen one of them. Are they scary? Do they hurt? If my friends from school hit me, hit me hard, is he a visitor too? He fucking might be. He might fucking be. Daddy said to be careful. I'm very careful. I came here very quietly. No one saw me. All right. Uh, so I guess this, this, the bitch, this is, um, they're talking about the nigga in my house, I think. Um, I'm calling dad for you. Good luck. Thanks. Good luck to you too. We go now. I'm scared to be outside alone tonight. We're going to play a game. He made me. He made me some kind of game where you have to roll dice and then walk on objects. I mean, like a chair or a couch, and then you have to build a road. Anyway, I'll see you later. Goodbye. I don't give a singular fuck. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why he even told me that. Oh my god, who told you to come to my door? Oh, what? Why are you built like that? I was hiding in the hub, but I was kicked out. Why? Not everyone can handle my temper. But I don't mean to offend anyone. Don't get me wrong. It's just sometimes it gets sickening. You know how it is. So what do you think? Will you let me in? <laughs> what, dude? That was not convincing. You should have lied. Uh, are you sure there won't be any trouble with you? What do you mean troubles, homeowner? Homeowner? <laughs> Murder and fights are against my soul. But I won't let no harm come to myself. I respect that. What I like is eating and drinking. And talking in a good mood. Is that a problem? Well, I'm just fucking asking because it seems like you're a fucking asshole. Um, why do you think it will be different here? Why did they kick you out? Um... Why do you think it'll be different here? So what? We're I'm supposed to die under the sun now? No, homeowner. That's not for me. As long as I'm alive, I'll keep looking for someone to talk to and something to talk about. If you don't let me in, I'll find luck somewhere else. If there's any luck left in this new world, and not everyone is a jerk. Hey, he, you know, he might be human. He's acting human. He's acting like a dickhead. And that's human. That's very human. I'll let him in. Thanks, just as, uh, Trusting people nowadays is worth no more than a coin. That's why I appreciate your trust. Maybe. All right. I can't promise anything. Yeah, you can come in, dude. I'll let you in. He seems like a normal guy. Uh, a normal guy would would have those. He hasn't. He didn't say anything like you know, like like what the fuck is that? What the fuck is your shoulder? Do you have shoulder pads on, bitch? 
I'm sorry for interrupting you so late. It's just too hot during the day. The TV said it'd be better not to go outside in the sun. Is there any corner for me? What the fuck is it? Who are you? Hmm. I used to live closer to town. The asphalt's heating up pretty intensely out here. <laughs> I used to work as a cashier. Not anymore, though. I got fired. Just didn't have any luck with work. Um, what, what does that gotta fucking do with anything, bitch? And how'd you, uh, like, how'd you get fired? Well, you said you were a cat. How the fuck? What are you gonna do now? What do you think will happen in the future? I don't know. Will I survive? Who will help me? How long will I have to search for help? I don't know what can happen next. I can't even guess. Aren't you scared by this? I am. Very much so. I don't know, dude. Your face is fucking creeping me. Your body shape is creeping me out. And I, I'm starting to get this is the art style, but like, I'm not sure. This is nasty. This is nasty behavior right here. Um, <laughs> nasty behavior. Um, I don't think I'm letting you in my house. Sorry about that. Nah, not going. You got fired. That means you're a piece of shit. You can't even work. Huh? Oh, yeah. Anyway, thanks for listening to me. Okay, I guess I'll move on then. Bye. T uh, bye. Get the fuck away from my door, you nasty piece of shit. It seems no one else will come today. My god damn it. I don't want you near my goddamn home at all. Don't ever come back, you disgusting fucking pig. Okay? We have interrupt. <laughs> let me Let me do the normal voice. We interrupt our morning show for an urgent message. Today at 6.20 a.m. there is a powerful solar eruption. This flare was larger than scientists predicted. The air temperature has reached a critical level. Authorities have declared a state of emergency. We urge all citizens to avoid going outside during daylight hours. Now onto the news. Aliens? People emerging from underground? No, this isn't a sci-fi story or a tabloid headline. Eyewitnesses report contacts with visitors around the city. One witness encountered a middle-aged man who had perfectly straight teeth. White teeth. If it turns out he was one of the visitors. Pay attention to the date. I stay. <laughs> what the fuck is that? God damn it. Why is what the fuck? Similar incident similar incidents with visitors sporting perfect teeth has been observed. So if they want to check, identify them, check their teeth. Please stay alert and calm. Now let's move on to other news. So is there more news to check? We only have one guy in our house, I think, right? We have one guy in here. Oh, fucking, you fucking, you're nasty. Why are you sitting like that? Yeah, did you want something? Um, I need to check your fucking body, buddy. What do you want to check? Um, show me, show me your teeth, dude. Did you? See, show, me, show me your teeth. Do you want to see my teeth? Well, look at them. They still have the taste of unhappiness and smoke in them. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's not like, it's like concave. So Yellowish, huh? Yeah, well, don't fuck with your test. I'm not your visitor. I know I'm like not really reading it properly. Um, I'm just really summarizing. I'm a summarizing reader. I, <laughs> um, is there more news to hear? Heat outside, no problem. If you have Energeca on your hand, the fresh energy to quench your thirst, even in the hottest heat. A unique blend of lime and mint gives extraordinary energy. Energeca, look for it in stores. Is it, I just get fucking added. I guess I have to drink my goddamn alcohol then. Ah, 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 alcohol, blame it on the ah, 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 alcohol. Blame it on the rock, blame it on the henny. Blame it on the goose, I got you feeling dizzy. We gotta take our ass to bed. It's time for nighttime. Holy shit, damn! I just woke up, they already knocking. Oh my god. Alright, let's see who's at my damn door, man. This is, this should get scary. Let me tell you right away, I'm not afraid of the heat, but I'm still looking for a quiet place. Can I find peace at your home? How the fuck 
This bitch is wearing a coat, a scarf? What? How long have you been looking for a piece of place? Dot, dot, dot. There's never been much peace for me. So yeah, for a long time. Are you okay with the, t take off your jacket. No, it's okay if you won't let me in. I'll just keep moving. I'm not gonna beg or bother you. Then get the fuck off my doorstep. The fuck? I get it. Okay, bye. I see you got a lot of gunpowder residue on your hands. Can you shoot me? Yeah, you need to boast yourself. Bye. What the fuck was wrong? I don't know, bro. She had eight coats on, bro. I don't know what the visitors do, but that was nasty. She might have been a real person, though. <laughs> oh, God. How fortunate we are. We witnessing firsthand the consequences of human passions. The earth will be cleansed. The sun will do its work. And we will go on to the new clean world. That's fucking good news. What? What are you doing, human? Look at that fucking nasty ass frown. I've never seen such a long face. Listen to me. I'll give you the brief rundown. The sun burns and burns us for a reason. It bakes sins out of us. We've all done sorts of things and now the sun is angry. Give his hits to us. And that's a good thing. All our sins will be over. We'll live our lives properly. What? what? Like, I, the, like the rapture? Like, is that what you mean, buddy? Um, so we all, we all die? What's gonna happen to you then? What's this got to do with me? We're all going to live well right after the sun helps. The sun will just help us get rid of all this stuff, you know? No. You'll understand everything. That's why you're alive. I mean, I think I have to allow people in. I can't just not let people in, but... And he's not giving off. He, I mean, I guess I'll check his fucking teeth. And he's missing a tooth, to be honest. I can tell you a lot more things about this. Do you have any beer? I forgot to ask. That's a that that's a human thing. Humans like beer. A, a alien wouldn't be like, let me get some pussy. You know what I mean? Like, you know what I mean? Too bad we were all witnesses. <laughs> This bald face is scaring me, but he might be human because aliens aren't bald. That's like a human deficiency, you know? Maybe we are all <laughs> participants too. What the fuck? Who? Do you need anything? No, thanks. Everything I need is already there. And what I don't have, you can't help me with. Okay, dude. Will you read my fortune? Choose where I should open the book and read the line. Uh, uh, what are you talking about, dude? That's how you look at it. What do my words mean to you? Will you read my fortune from a book? Um, open near the middle last paragraph, open near the beginning, top paragraph. Open near the middle, last paragraph. The dead will come and tell, and he will not be believed. The dead will come and tell, and he will not be believed. What does that mean? The dead will come and tell, and he will not be believed. I need to think now. Maybe I'll see you later. I don't even know what that means. It seems no one will come tonight. The dead will come, and he will not be believed. What, I have to tell, what I tell people that the dead came to my door, and you won't believe me? Or I won't be alive. <laughs> Just to tell that is what I'm saying. Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. Solar activity remains abnormal, and experts predict that we will now continue to intensify. There are continuing reports of eyewitnesses about these encounters with Victor visitors. <laughs> victors. In response to this situation, authorities urgently ramped up the FEMA operations. FEMA is an acronym for the Federal Emergency Management Agency. FEMA stuff members. FEMA stuff members, okay, type shit. FEMA stuff members were yellow hazmat suits. The FEMA special committee started functioning recently, but have discovered a new indicator of visitors. The FEMA special committee experts believe that, besides the teeth, visitors can be identified by dirt under their nails. 
As reported by FEMA, this was discovered during an inspection of one of the houses. Pay attention to their nails! Ugh, they come out the ground so they got dirt in their nails. Employees encountered a woman who had worked as a nurse. For some reason, she had dirt in her nails. Given that visitors emerged from the ground, the woman was taken for testing her dangerous so status was confirmed. If you notice anyone resembling a visitor, promptly contact FEMA members or call the hotline as you call the hotline. Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your house during the daylight hours. Now on the other nerves. Okay, so we got five energy now. They gave us some more energy. I need to check your goddamn fingernails, buddy. I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Your fucking hands. Where did they even come from? Dirt under the fingernails? Is that supposed to be a sign? They can just wash their hands. That's all it takes. So what? Every gardener visitor now? That's ridiculous. Look at my nails. Them bitches are clean as shit, dude. You wash your fucking hands. Well, am I a visitor? Well, I guess not. I could, of course not. You wash your fucking hands. We know that, dude. Calm the fuck down, all right? Um, I will say he is right, though. Like, that is kind of stupid. That just sounds like some shit that makes us want to, you know, get angry at each other. But at the same time, if they got dirty-ass hands, they got dirty-ass hands. Where the fuck is this other dude at? Okay. I listen to your words, human. Speak! Um, what are you knowing about the catalysm? A lot. And believe me, friend, this is far from over. This is just the beginning. The scale has not even been filled enough to balance the universal powers. It takes more than the burn in the righteous flames of the sun. But you know, my friend, these sacrifices will not be in vain. Someday we will understand the true intentions of the sun-faced one. Fuck! Sometimes at night I really miss my wife. She was a saintly woman, but a real piece of work. Well, you didn't even fucking... I need to check on you, dude. Show me your fucking teeth. Show you my teeth? And I've stood for my truths with them. I've defended all my truths. See for yourself what I'm really doing here. Yep, them shits are not perfect. I mean, he's perfect on the outside, but dude, it doesn't count with the misses? I shave my I sh save my teeth with beer. It's good for the calcium. Oh shit. Oh shit. I mean his teeth are straight as fuck. Without it, you would have lost your teeth. Hear about. We live on. I wanna I wanna check his uh check his hands. No taboo, my friend. Watch my nose as long as you like. I've trained myself to get used to sunlight with it. And open beer caps. Ah, uh, they look kind of clean. Are those dirty? Are those dirty? Did you just want to check them out? I thought uh, you're just an evil man. I mean, if they have only one problem, is does that count? Do they have to have all the problems to be a visitor, or can they not? Can they just have one thing? Cause he was gonna shoot him over his fucking teeth! And the bitches weren't even perfect! He had two holes in them bitches! Two gaps! But I mean, do, do gaps count? In difficult times, when the hour of despair is near, and trust is hard to come by, there are all you can rely on. FEMA, hotline, trust us. Okay, well I guess I use all my energy and then I can go to bed. I guess watching TV is a quick way to. These niggas get right to it, bro! I literally just got out of my fucking bed! I tried to, I'm trying to like run, it's not working. I don't think run is a button in this goddamn game. Ew, who the fuck is that? Who are you, who are you? How's it going in there? Is everything okay? Um, wait, what do you, what do you, why are you ignoring my question? Uh, listen, hey, are you, are you alone in that house? Just curious, you're just really someone's fashion. Probably salvation is some driving some away. I have people taking shelter here. But you're lucky tonight. I can hear someone whispering in your rooms. But who knows what will happen tomorrow? What the fuck, dude? There are a group of armed soldiers outside the window. 
Apparently there are small units sent here from the city to provide security from the ECU. I say ECU. You can hear bits and pieces of phrases about a pale man with a bare torso. Maybe they want to track down the creepy stranger. You feel relieved that there's people ready to deal with the strangest guests on the streets. Dangerous guests? Who the fuck are they even talking about? Pale fuck? Get to the door. What the fuck? Can I rest at your place? Where, 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 where are you headed next? <laughs> oh, me. Uh, I just need someone to fog again. Never get up again. I don't care where I end up. Does your friend need help? Not anymore. When he needed it, no one helped. Now he's dead. He might be alive if anyone gave a shit. Um... Oh my god, but you could have killed him, right? No, nah, but uh, like, would a visitor just carry another person? But maybe they think this is a good way to get in someone's house? Nah, that's not. I feel like an alien wouldn't think like that. An alien wouldn't have like this type of thought process, you know? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Maybe, 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 but why would you carry your dead friend on you? Can you leave him out? Who do you got in the house? You got two people? I don't know if we're gonna find anybody better than this. You know what I mean? Like we might not. I don't. Ugh, fuck, dude. I don't know. You, you, you can come in. I don't think I'll stay long. I just need a break. I don't. I don't know, dude. I don't know who else is gonna come to this house, dude. Like we can't be alone. So we gotta. Yeah, you see what's going on? Ah, uh, fucking hell. Well, how's it going in there? What's going on? New opportunities, get the fuck a seat. Everyone's whining, running around, fussing. But you can hear and do things in the heart, that's all. We all should be happy and short. His teeth are fucked up. Why, why, why did you come to me? You're already in business. You're gathering people, you're doing something here, you're making things happen. We'll turn this into a celebration of life. Ah, dude, I'm not sure. Among us? Among, among, among us! The, nah, you're not. Nah, you're not tricking me, dude. You're not tricking me, buddy. I know what you're, you're not fucking tricking me, bitch! You know what? I kind of want to let him in just so I can shoot your fucking face off if I find out anything about you. You can come in, buddy. Oh, oh, oh. now we're talking. Finally, someone with some sense, bitch! What the fuck? You just call me a bitch? At my own establishment? What a douchebag. It's so quiet at night. Hi, can I come in? Um, are you looking for something? Why would you think that? No, I'm actually looking for something, and that same thing everyone else is. Safety and a way to kill boredom. And you guys are so quiet and I honestly didn't think anyone slept here. So I thought I'd check to see if I could come in, but it was locked, so I was about to knock down before I tried breaking the door down. Huh. Um, who are you? I'm a traveling doctor now. Hospitals are chaotic. I highly advise going in there. I operate on people. I'm a surgeon. There wasn't a funny guy in hospital, so I've done a lot of other jobs that were typically mine. Now I just go around helping whoever I can. I mean, a medic might help us. I, you got, is that blood or dirt? You could come in, buddy. I hope I can help someone. I don't know, dude. I don't know. He says a traveling doctor. That doesn't seem like a lying sort. I'm. Nah, bro. Nah, I know y'all heard that shit, bro. I know y'all heard someone knock. Bro, I heard someone knock on my fucking door. Nah, bro. I didn't like that at all. Okay. The bodies of teenagers burned to death on the ground. It seems they've been lying here all day. Two emergency workers are standing next to the bodies and writing something down. It's good to, it's good that someone here to remove the bodies. It's scary to imagine what kind of cont contagion could appear if the writing bodies were, are not removed from the streets. What? what the kids died? The kids that were out there died? What the fuck? This small group of FEMA staff working outside the neighbor's house. 
wonder what they're talking about. Maybe taking soil samples? Or they're looking for a place to set up base? It makes you feel a little better knowing that someone's trying to figure out a sense of this nightmare. I don't know. It looks like he's over there. He looks like he's fucked up. I don't know. That don't, that don't seem right. Why he got female? There ain't no female in my crib. Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. The Valiant FEMA staff members have organized quarantine zones. Anyone showing signs of visitors are directed there. Some people express concern that the identity of visitor remains unknown. However, FEMA assures that they are merely ill individuals in need of assistance. Additionally, FEMA has identified a new indicator of visitors, intensely irritated blood red eyes. This information was discovered when experiments with detained guests. According to FEMA research or experts, the irritation is caused by prior exposure to the sunlight. Please stay alert and calm and avoid leaving your home during daylight hours. Let's move on to other news. Mmm, okay. Bright red eyes. Bloodshot red eyes. Then show me your fucking eyes, buddy. Every day gets more surreal. What if I didn't sleep well? What if I cried? I can't make sense of how this how it works anymore. What if one sign checks out? Or several? Bitch, your eyes are white, dog. Shut up. Now I'm going to be a visitor tonight. I'll go and cry, reminisce about the old peaceful times. Dude, you are a fucking visitor. Calm the fuck down. He's screaming at me, dog. I'm just trying to make sure I don't have any fucking nasty ass creatures in my house. I gotta do the same thing with everybody else. Oh my god. <laughs> What's up, bitch? Yo, I fucking hate this guy. I know you're a visitor. You have an Among Us shirt on. Show me your teeth. I can show you some teeth, a bitch. <laughs> my brother in law got his teeth done. He got smashed. Guess what? Lost on his fucking teeth. <laughs> oh, I gotta show you. Uh -huh. Are those perfect? I mean, he has like a, a nasty tooth right here, but they're all perfectly straight and white. Good, huh? What are you doing? Okay. I get it. All the stress about the visitor stuff. But you're doing it for all of us. Anyway, I hold no grudges. We'll tell you any of bullshit. Let me see everything else. Let me see your eyes, buddy. My eyes have been itching for days. Do you think it's from the sun or what? Oh, yeah. You're cooked. Yeah. Yeah, nah. It's just some kind of disease. I want, I want to see your nails. Let's see your nails. I'm shooting you, but I just want to see your nails. Come on. I'm fine. I don't do anything with my nails. Look. His nails are kind of clean, though. Yeah, I watch. I just have Usually my nails are clean, bitch. Wait, they're dirty? Oh, yeah. It's okay, dude. <laughs> it's alright, buddy. Let's just go ahead and get this over with, man. Say a fucking nara, buddy. Get the fuck out of my town. Bitch, you suck my dear. Yeah. So sorry to say you just got murdered in my goddamn house. God damn it. I don't want to have to blow your brain out. Mm-hmm. I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Your eyes. Huh? Yeah, I'll show you my eyes. I'm not sure if you know this, but I have Pelicoria. That's what it means. What the fuck? You have two eyeballs? My vision is actually worse because of it. You think I would do pupils or one eye would be handy. But alas. What? Bro, what the fuck? Oh, okay, um. Uh. What the fuck? Okay. I need to check on you. Show me your teeth. Show me your, your teeth. Thank you. My teeth are fine. Ah, it's the visitor's side you're asking about. Sure, look. Nah, dog. Those are perfect. Those are perfect. Perfect, eh? I had a friend of mine put them on for free. And I collaborated on them a while ago. Nah, bro. You had a friend? You don't even remember the friend. You don't even remember what the fuck you're talking about. Get the fuck out of my goddamn house. Wait, what? You're making a mistake. I hear people. Get the fuck out of here, buddy. I don't... Nah. Nah. No. <laughs> Nobody was straight teeth. <laughs> what, what was that noise? What was it? Oh, I don't have any... Um, I don't have any more energy. Damn it. Okay, I don't have any more energy. So them niggas might be... 
might be, you know, they might have got saved. They might have got saved tonight because I don't have enough energy to ask to shoot no more people. I don't got no more energy to shoot nobody, so they got saved tonight. They got saved. Why is it making weird noises? Oh shit, fucking FEMA? Uh, I'm from FEMA crew. Uh, we're here to come help you. Um... How- you came alone? No, of course not. Our crew is going door to door in the neighborhood. We're splitting up to get the job done faster. I won't be staying long. Okay, makes sense. Uh, how will you help us? Uh, first we have to do some investigation. Uh, based on the results, I will be able to take further action by notifying the management. Uh, you just need to wait a little. Wait a little? That's why I can't stand about the government, bro. By the time I wait a little, we're already dead. And the music is changing. It's scaring the fuck out of me. Uh, do you have an action plan? Of course. It's not like we can act spontaneously. We'll take any one person for, uh, with us for examination. Since you may have been exposed to solar radiation, we'll check the health of one. Based on that, we'll decide if you all need help. It could be anyone. Fuck, you gotta take someone I have? Uh, what's next? Uh, wait. Either we evacuate you from this dangerous area, or we'll send the man back to you. We'll issue instructions either way. Ooh, thank you for taking her. Thank you for taking her. Now, I'm taking a man from you. We'll go. Thank you. That was the one person I didn't even, I really didn't like at my crib, and she's gone. That's perfect. Mwah, thank you, cause I was finna shoot her brains out, cause I know that nigga was a that nigga on her was a goddamn freak. Like that was one of the visitors. What a mess! Did you see that? What kind of society is this? The beasts around here are revealed. Finally, it's no one's pretending. Are you one of the beasts? We're all the same beast. If you deny it long enough, you'll be in alive, no bones left. Now the new order is whoever is the strongest is right. Whoever says he's not one of this kind of people will be dead tomorrow. That's true. How are you survived all this time? You will know too much, you'll soon grow old. I don't ask you how to live, you don't ask me how to live. The main thing is that I won't be a problem for you. You can come in, dude. I don't know, he hasn't shown me, he's just a weirdo. He hasn't shown anything off, though. An intelligent decision. The force now rules your life and you'll either accept it or get in trouble. What the fuck is he talking about? He, he didn't act too crazy though. <laughs> Let me in! Oh no! Did something happen? <laughs> my daddy! <laughs> Killed my daddy! What? what, what? Who? Why would they do that? Drink the drinks water. I, I don't know. There were quits and then they went back in the kitchen. And then they did something and they set the house on fire. While I was running, they were all just laughing. Wow. That's fucked up. Come on. Can, can you help me? I'm scared. I'm not gonna leave a fucking kid in the dirt like that, dog. Yeah, a visitor can't be a kid, bro. It's not a kid, bro. I even checked the windows. The entire squad of soldiers who were there yesterday are dead. What the fuck? The bodies are strewn all over the street, and one of the bodies is missing a head. Did that pale, creepy stranger kill them all? You're horrified by this picture of carnage and you feel in danger. I didn't even check the windows, bro. I don't be checking the windows. I just be going straight to work. It's Oh, what the fuck is that? A pale, creepy man stands in the road and smiles. He has someone's severed head in his hand, wearing a helmet. It's a soldier's head from a grimace with a grimace of horror frozen on his face. You are very uncomfortable with what you see. Why does he look like that? Yo, that's the pale motherfucker. Yo, I don't. The na a neighbor's house, which is recently painted white, burned to the ground and is now completely black. The fire seems to have died down recently. Did someone set it on fire on purpose? What happened to the neighbor's family? Did anyone survive? Why did they burn the house down? 
Your heart is filled with anxious thoughts and a feeling of incomprehension and helplessness. Insanity. No, that's crazy. I don't know what to say. Like, wow. But we, but his, I, I'm not from around here. I don't like staying in one place too long. Can't roam around as much anymore. I'm getting too old for that. I'm not letting nobody else in the crib, bro. We got enough people for the night. Um, why do you travel? Yeah, those very ones. Have you seen what these visitors are up to? Every house. Someone's killed. Someone else is torn apart. They pretend to be one of us, man. Then all hell breaks us. We need to wipe out these visitors. Do you want to kill the visitors? Aren't you doing the same thing? Or do you tell them to shoot? You're not stupid, right? You kick them out, but tomorrow they'll tear you apart. You won't even remember your name, get it? You gotta be careful with them, that's the thing. Fuck no, I'm not letting you in. You didn't answer my fuck question, I said do you wanna kill him? You didn't answer the goddamn question, you said yes, you go. Huh, ain't good. Maybe you're busy yourself. You can have slipped my throat in the night. You know, you know, I'll give you visitors a run for their money. You'll be amazed. Yeah, fucking suck a dick. I don't believe you. You sound like a cap. Anyone home? Oh, fuck a no! I said no one else is coming in my crib tonight. Who are you? I used to live a couple blocks away. We were evacuated from our home by those yellow suits, but they didn't take us anywhere. They didn't provide us a place to live. Where should we go? What should we do? While well, everyone's figuring out where to go, I'm here trying to save myself. That's Cap, because FEMA said that they're bringing everybody to the goddamn hospital, nigga. Because you guys are just ill individuals. The fucking you bitch is a liar. I know she's capping. How many left of you? Why they kick you out? How many of you left? I'm telling you, the whole house. Somebody didn't leave on their own. The others grabbed him like it didn't mean anything and they took him away for examination. It felt like half of us were grabbed. They didn't chase the others too much. Well, now I have to survive somehow. Fuck no. Well, don't open the door to those yellow ones anyway. Well, you generally don't open your door anymore. <laughs> I'll bring my people up here and help you save yourself. <laughs> That bitch was a visitor. That bitch was a visitor. It seems no one else will come tonight. That bitch was a fucking visitor. What the fuck? Did that bitch know? Did you just, that bitch laughed her and she told me she was gonna bring her people to jump me, my nigga. That bitch is a visitor. Good morning, dear viewers. This is the morning news. FEMA continues to identify new signs of the visitors. According to their data, attempt to take a photograph visitor Attempting to photograph visitors results in severe blurring in the photos. The effect can only be observed with film cameras. Take pictures of them. What? Unfor if they took a picture with a visitor? Unfortunately, the reasons for this phenomenon has not been determined yet. However, FEMA urges citizens to use this new information to identify visitors. Please stay calm and alert and avoid leaving your house during the daylight hours. Now on to other news. What? A photo? Or these? Bro, I think they're. What? What the fuck is wrong with you? What the fuck? Why is there a dog noise in here? Do you have a question for me? I need to check on you, dude. Show me your. Show me your eyes, dude. Are you looking for a stranger in me? Aren't you afraid to see the reflection in my own eyes? Ah, them shits are white. I'm impressed. Not everyone can stand my gaze. Alright, show me your teeth. Or actually, take a photo. I don't like having my picture taken. If those photos don't end up in the f f trash later, I'll have to take action. Do you understand that? You're taking a picture of the person you're talking to. You wave the photo around to make it show up faster. You notice that the picture seems fine, but it's being snatched out of your hands. Give it to me. I'll thought about myself. Fuck, it seems like he's normal. Uh, let's see your teeth. Watch it. If you attack me, I'll bite your neck with these teeth. Ooh, he got some gold motherfuckers in there. I take care of my teeth. And those that are missing. Oh, shit. Am I... No, wait, 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 wait. I know how to sleep. If you do, 
I'll eat you alive, kid. Don't make that mistake. Huh? You eat me alive? Oh, nah, he might have to go. He might have to die. I'm not sure. He's... Oh, that's the kid? Hold up, hold up. I gotta talk to this dude. I, I killed I killed the doctor, right? I killed the doctor? I think I did kill the doctor. I think the doctor's... I'm listening to you. Man. That's all right. I need to check your, um... Did I check his eyes? Or just take a photo. Take a picture? Mm -hmm. Did anyone tell you as hello to the solar leader himself? Yes, I taught him how to look at the sun. And I'll tell you sometime later. Come on, take a picture of me. Take a picture of the sloppy man. Just like in life, the picture he is a groom no dirty. You don't notice any distortion. What a great job you did. Come with me. I'll tell you about my life and I'll give you some money for it. You will give me some money for it. This is for saving the sun's energy. I don't know what the fuck that dude be talking about, bro. No, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with him. I just let him fucking talk and live because he's human, alright? That's human shit. He's just a weirdo. I want my mom Oh, I need to take a photo of you. Photo? I'm not really good at photo. Can you do the photo later? You're taking the photo of the girl. It came out a little blurry. The girl ran to you without. Oh. I like it. Don't ask me to take pictures. Fuck. Show me your show me your eyes. Can you look inside my eyes? Will you see everything I'm thinking in there? I'm very careful about thinking, don't worry. White, they're white. Why did you look like that? Alright. So I only have so much more. I think he's human. I think the guy in that room is human. But look, right? When I come over here, there's like a, a fucking nasty noise but there's not ever any other door i think that's gotta mean something man. that's gotta mean something i'm going i think i'm gonna kill that guy in there but we're gonna go in here real quick let me check your teeth real quick teeth show you my teeth why my teeth are still baby teeth daddy said i won't cry anymore ah those are baby teeth those are normal baby teeth those are perfect Alright, well, let's go back to this room because there's a growling noise happening here. I need to check on you. What do you want to check? Um, we did the photo. We didn't check his hands. I want to check his hands. Ooh, but look, the FEMA crew might come back. But FEMA crew come back, I don't want him to. I can kill him tomorrow because if FEMA come back and take another one of my people, I only have two people left. Well, I have the girl, but either way, I only got two people left. The kid don't really count as a person. So, like,. They're gonna take another one, so I'm gonna have again one person at my crib. Which is like. But it, it's better to have less people, but I don't know if I wanna have. If anyone, I wanna have him last, this nigga behind him. You know what I mean? So if I keep him, FEMA might come back. If they take him, we're good. If they don't take him, I'll just kill this dude. Or maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I'll just kill him right now. Maybe I'll just kill him right now. Fuck it. It's better to have less people in this goddamn house, buddy. I hate that fucking suit you're wearing. I haven't had one of these before. <laughs> well, this seems faster. I am, you bitch ass nigga. Lay your ass on the goddamn floor. Who the fuck you think you're talking to? Okay, we got one more left. And I still hear the ground noise. It's interesting. Let's go over here. Maybe we gotta talk to him. Maybe we gotta ask him. Eyes, we did the eyes, I think. Did we do eyes? Yeah, we did eyes. Teeth, hands, photo. All these sign checks, guys in yellow jumpsuits, all of this somehow, it's so fucked up. Don't you get the feeling that we're heading towards some kind of terrifying hell? Everything's allegedly in control, yet everything in chaos is unfolding. Well, take the picture, come on. We're taking the picture of the person you're talking to. He's sitting quietly, he doesn't fit in the frame, but you'll notice anything unusual. I'm just scared of hell. I'm just scared of what happened next. I don't know, bro, but you seem human, all, as always. So we have one, two, we had three people in here. Everyone else is gone. The wife, the doc, the lady is gone. She might come back. She might not. I'm not really sure. But god damn it, they're at my goddamn house once a goddamn again. These niggas don't get a, give me a goddamn break. Let me check these windows one more time because we ain't, we didn't check these windows yet. We I be failing the windows. Oh my god, that shit's gone. You're looking at your neighbor's house. Only a ghostly silhouette remains. You're devastated by what you've seen. It seems to disturb you even more to realize that it's not the evil guests who are to blame, 
but people with paranoia, it brings you anxiety. I think people were just like bandits and were just like, fuck you for having a good house, we're burning your shit down, which could happen to me at any point. Ooh. You see a steak with a helmet and head on it. There's some blackbird skin left on the skull, and the teeth look like someone pulled them out. The head has been here all day. The whole grim display looks like a threat, surely left by the creepy pale visitor. God damn it, bro. That nigga is on my dick. He's trying to kill me, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh my god! There's a dead man hanging suspended from a lamppost with a sign around his neck. It says visitors are not welcome. He's mocking somebody. Looks like the poor guy was mistaken for a guest and killed in a lynching. A lynching is crazy. The thought of violence engulfing in a once peaceful and quiet town breaks your heart and makes you wish for quieter times. I ain't gonna lie, I had a dream one night of an apocalypse type of behavior. And I ain't gonna lie, mostly dream, I was just thinking like, yo, it's gotta be a dream because like, there's no way this could happen in real life. And to think that probably in real life, if an apocalypse situation ever actually did happen, which I, God forbid it does, but if it did, you would really in your brain be thinking probably, a lot of people would be really thinking like, this is a dream, this can't be real. Like trying to wake up from a bad dream and essentially trying to like end your own like suffering in a way. So think about how people would feel in real life if it was like get to the situation. I think a lot of people would be uh, bad times oh shit FEMA's back uh we're with the FEMA team we need to do a survey on your neighborhood you the guy the last man you took wasn't enough what about the last survey uh the results are through mixed we're not sh sure about the results yet uh, the sample was too small what why was one not enough the sample is too small the boss first said take one at a time. Now uh, we can see that we need more. So we went out again. I don't believe this dude, bro. I don't think these are real people. I think these are goddamn visitors, bro. And they're just taking niggas. Like, they're just on. They, they got the perfect plan. They could cap in a FEMA suit. No, I'm not interested in these examinations. <laughs> you don't get it. We didn't give you a choice. We didn't give you a choice. We're just doing our job. They said it twice, so that's why I said it twice. You can't say no. We'll do what we need to do and leave. They took the kid! I thought the kid was off limits! Oh my god. What do you think of that one in the suit? Uh, I don't know how I feel about him. What's not to know? <laughs> okay, anyway, I don't care. Can you leave? God damn. Yeah, sure. I don't didn't want you to think you had any trouble talking to me. Just first, are you alone in the house right now? No, I have people taking shelter here. You know ready? You know what you're getting ready for? It's the last days, didn't they tell you? Dogs rule the world, and only dogs will be here. Have a good stay. What the fuck is wrong with him? I know he fucking stinks. I know he smells like the worst must imaginable. Oh God. But uh, what? <laughs> but what comes next is a terrible secret. Oh my God! How have you survived all this time? That's not the problem you should be worried about. But thanks. And I don't yet feel that the glaciers are going to melt anytime soon. Looks like we're in for the birds raining from the sky. What? What does that mean? Are you like figuratively or literally? You tell me. I guess I don't know. Is this supposed to be the end? Or are we yet to smell more gunpowder? I can't see beyond my own nose anymore. Probably nothing to wait for. I mean, honestly, his mindset is kind of what you like that a healthy mindset in this type of behavior to be inquisitive, just thinking forward and not, you know, just letting the days go by. You know what I mean? Which is hard to do. But he's made it fucking, he's made it, this, he's outside and he's surviving, so maybe he knows some shit. What should we do? I don't know. I'll just keep watching. That's all I can do. What will you do? 
I don't know. I kind of fuck with that guy. I kind of want him in here. He's bald. I think he's a normal person. You know what I mean? Bald people are usually safe. Bro, I swear to God, they be fake knocks at my door, bro. It seems like no one else is coming tonight. Bro, I, there be fake knocks at I be having ghosts at my crib, bro. I know it. Y'all not tricking me. All right, let's go. It is no longer safe to live on the surface of the earth. You board up all the windows and barricade the doors. You pray helplessly that someday this will all be over if this nightmare ever ends. But at the very least, you have peace of mind knowing that there are only humans under your roof. Let's go! That means we made it, bro. I think that means we fucking won the game, bitch. <laughs> I'm alive, I'm good, you died, oh what, I don't give a fuck, wait, I don't give a fuck, wait. Honestly, I like this game, that was fun, I enjoyed it. It was only $3, so I was kind of happy to buy that. I hope you guys enjoyed this one, this was fun as fuck, and I liked the atmosphere, the narrative. I guess the uh, full version coming out at some point, they need to hurry up and drop that shit. I will play this again when the full version comes out. This was a good experience, I like this. I like the type of narrative that they went with this. It was freaky. The art style was creepy. Every character had his own personality. Nobody looked the same. Everyone had their own feel. Like when they came back, you were not annoyed. You were kind of like interested, inquisitive about what the fuck they got to say. But I'll see y'all niggas in the next guy the video. If you liked it, please make sure to like and subscribe. This is Barber Kickstarter now. Peace.